Tens of thousands of Twin City students are staying home from school tomorrow. For the first time in more than 50 years, Minneapolis teachers will strike starting tomorrow. In the last hour, St. Paul schools reached a deal with teachers narrowly avoiding its own strike. Our team is working to answer your questions and bring you the very latest updates from each district. We're going to start with David Schumann, who is in Minneapolis right now. David? More than 65 hours of negotiating in the last week did not get this deal done. The teachers and support staff have their demands. The district says it doesn't have the money. And the union leaders say they were never even close to an agreement. Our students need and deserve more. And we leaders of the Minneapolis Teachers Union see this strike as an existential necessity. Those at the top of this district continue to hoard power, continue to do so much less with so much more. And if we don't intervene, we believe that the Minneapolis public schools will cease to exist. About 4,500 teachers and education support professionals will picket Tuesday morning, stopping classes in the district of more than 30,000 students. Cliff Wilming, a father of two Anderson middle schoolers, says he and his kids support the teachers despite the disruption. Inconvenience um, in this case is really uh, just a, a necessary prescription for some, some real justice. You know, if this is what it has to come to, and it clearly does, um, you know, we're willing as parents to just chip in whatever we can do. The union's top priority is a living wage for support staff. Because we make school happen every single day. Educators want class size caps, more mental health resources for students, and higher, more competitive salaries for teachers. The average is $71,000. The district says it has a nearly $100 million budget gap and it can't spend money it doesn't have. Union leaders want a say in budgeting because they feel the district's made bad choices with its money that have led to this impasse. You need to change the way that you've been doing things because you are driving families and educators out of this district. These kids will learn a lesson from this strike. They will learn how to support their teachers. The district says the strike is disappointing, but it's committed to finding an agreement and will continue to negotiate with the union. The educators will be out there picketing tomorrow morning in front of their respective schools at 730. All right, David, thank you.